Good morning, Pope Francis. Please stand for prayer and pledge to the flag. I'd like to invite Father Stan for prayer. Good morning. Let's begin this day in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for each and every one of us who have been able to make it to school this morning. We pray and bless your name for your goodness in our lives. And as we have today, the second day of our grandparents coming to visit us, we ask you to bless our grandparents, to bless our parents, to bless our families, that in all things, your love will continue to reign, that in any way there is any imperfection or any difficulty that we are facing in our families and among parents, that you continue to grant peace to us all. May your joy lead us today all through, and in your name, may we always find ways to seek out you in people and in our families that we meet every day. Bless us today and always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I'm Danny Sears, and this is your Pope Prep News and Announcements. Today is Tuesday, October 19th, and it is Pro-Life Day of Silent Solidarity. On the third Tuesday of October every year, students give up their voice for Pro-Life Day of Silent Solidarity, representing the 3,000 voices taken by abortion every day. These students chose to take a vow of silence, the movement suggests wearing a red armband representing your participation in the day. Others may wear red duct tape across their mouths. No matter how participants demonstrate their participation, the day a vow of silence represents those who've been silenced forever through abortion. The quote of the day is, the gain is not the having of children, it is the discovery of love and how to be loving. Uh, Pali Perens. NHS is holding a Dress Down fundraiser next Friday for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Could you please incorporate a quick, oh, oops. Yeah, that's not right. Uh, next weekend is the annual Walk of Cure for Breast Cancer Awareness. This year we are raising money as a school to donate to Rays of Hope. There will be a school-wide Dress Down Day on Friday. Students can wear pink tops and uniform bottoms and must donate $3 to participate. Reminder, NHS members must pay their pledge dues by Friday, October 22nd, and give the money to Lily Termel, Samantha Culver, or Miss Mars. We'll be having a special Olympics meeting today after school in the music room. We'll be discussing our upcoming International Day of Persons with Disability Day, and we will be planning our virtual athletic chat and trivia. It's not too late to join. Contact Miss Rivers with any questions and hope to see you there. There will be a meeting for the investment club on Thursday the 21st in room 306. Everyone is welcome. The Spanish club will be having a meeting on Wednesday, October 27th in room 226 after school. All are welcome. There will be an engineering meeting this Thursday, October 21st in room 306. New members are welcome. Our news from the sports desk. Congratulations to Jalen DeVoyce who shot a 79 at the Western Mass Golf Sensational Tournament yesterday and earned a spot at the state tournament. Way to go, Jalen, and good luck on Monday. For our birthdays today, we'd like to give a very happy birthday to Jack Kelly and the Sievers. And today's schedule is CDAB with A period lunch. That's all, Pope Francis.